Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? To celebrate our nation, that was Skylar Cole with tonight's National Anthem performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Feeling like it's me against the world, but I can give a f who my opponent is. And I came here to change it. Big my belief, now they call it dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm gonna maintain it. I gotta go down to just one of the places. Takes flying, go down, no man. Clear the deck, deck cleared. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're gonna bring you the NBA in all its excitement. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. And the Clippers starting five. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. The post pairing, Batum and Zubats. And it's Wall in at the one spot. And for San Antonio, we've got Josh Richardson. Jones is out there with Devin Vassell. Then it's Gorgi Dan. And it's Roby in at the four slot. It ended in the bubble, but how about the Spurs' playoff streak? 22 consecutive seasons, Greg, coming to an end. Kevin, making it every year from 1998 to 2019, winning five titles over that span, and having the same head coach certainly helped that streak. So did having, though, you know, a couple Hall of Famers. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. For the Spurs with the ball. Passes it to Vassell. Zubats against Chang. Outside, Jones. Just five to shoot. Wall with some nice defense. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Side wall. Pass to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. And just taking pride in being their leader, these passes show Wall wants to make his teammates better. And here is Vassell. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Jones, no luck. Blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Leonard sets a screen for Wall. Here's Zubac. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Clippers shooting their first foul shot of the night. And they've shot the ball well this season in terms of their attempts. 81%. At the line for two. Oh, 
And the first one drops. With just about a half season behind us, the rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. Do you feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions? Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. Injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. And both free throws good for Zubox. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue. But that's going to change soon. Now here's Jones. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Outside for George. And good coming off the assist by Wall. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. So they're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. And now here comes Jones leading the break, and it's Vassell in the corner. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. To stop the run, Jones drives in. It's deflected. A sneaky present at the defensive end. Nicholas Platoon was all over that shot. Zubats with it. Last time, 14 points for him. Outside Leonard lets the three fly. San Antonio with the rebound. Coming off that loss against the Nets. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. Five on the clock. Vassell, the pass to Roby. Paul George with the steal. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Vassell grabs the board. Spurs trail by five. Outside, Jones. Pass to Roby. Over Batum. Here's Jang. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now oh, here's Leonard. 17 Kawhi points for him last game against the Utah Jazz. Kawhi is a threat from anywhere. To him, the mid-range is a good scoring option. Here's Jones, trailing by five. Here's Jang. Carries it from three-point range. Jang has got five points so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Wall and misses it off the right side of the rim. The Spurs have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Vassell kicks to Jones. The pass to Jang. The dish to Richardson. Unloads from 13. Tries again, and it's laid in by Jang. Seven points in the game. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. Passes it to Leonard. Wall is screen on Richardson. Leonard with the ball. Jones covering. And it's Leonard missing. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. He kicks to Jang. Richardson against Wall. And the rejection by Zubox. And he's able to get it back. Five to shoot. Roby can't hit. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. George against Richardson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And the focus Paul George has. Outstanding job finding a way to score on physical defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
Jacked in for Zubox. Robert Covington comes in for Nicholas Batu. Powell, he's jacked in for Leonard. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for John Wall. For so long, many joked about how the Spurs were always too old, right? Too old, too slow, too stuck in their same ways. Uh, but that's changing. Well, I was on a couple of those teams too, Kevin. I remember well, people said that the Spurs were too old and needed to get younger. And over the last few years, they've done exactly that. Now here's McDermott. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. That three off the mark. Clippers leading by three. Outside Jackson. Down low. Covington kicks to Powell. Covington setting the pick for Powell. The 10 footer. Collins grabs the miss. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's the sound. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. Pass to Sohan. Here's Primo. Just five to shoot. McDermott passes to Primo. Here's Sohan. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Coffee. Pass to Pop. Jackson up top. Skins over McDermott. Los Angeles with another miss. Here's Primo. He points his last outing into the lane. Morris with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by three. Now Jackson. Takes it out to Covington. Off target from outside. Spurs shooting a mere 25% from the floor in this first quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 1.58 left to play here in the first. To end the drought. Primo with the bucket. Did a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Powell down low and Seven contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Smitty, you can tell Norman Powell has worked very hard in his game. 
you know, he just wants to excel at whatever assignment he's given. Kevin, he once said, I've been in every single role on a team, from bench guy to starter, so he knows how to give you value anywhere on the floor. No good on that one. Now the Clippers trading last season for Norman Powell. And uh, as they say, Greg, the rich get, get richer. Yeah, an excellent two-way player. Uh, their wing depth becoming the envy of the league. And, and he's just coming into his prime. So he fits the timeline of their star. And he's good on the second. Smitty expectations have been so high for this Clippers team in recent seasons with the addition of Kawhi and the addition of Paul George and the other great parts around him. They've got a lot of terrific players, Kevin. On paper, they look playoff ready. So those expectations aren't so misplaced. Here's Jackson following the bucket by the Spurs. Drills it from outside. And the Clippers lead by three. You know, a little inconsistent from deep when he first entered the league. Jackson now an emerging three-point threat. And there's the pass to Sohan. That's a miss, his second after two shots. And Morris has got the ball here for Los Angeles. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, oh having God. to manufacture Four points. Three. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And the Spurs with possession after the three-pointer from Norman Powell. A shot by Primo, no good. Los Angeles leading by six. Jackson dishes to Powell. Back to Jackson, takes a three. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's Bates Diop, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Primo, good on the shot. Primo! And that does it for the first quarter. Clippers lead by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. 19. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Clippers leading by four. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. On court spots are the deadly George and Leonard. Luke Kennard out there with Wall. And it's Morris in at the pivot spot. Manning the middle. Al Richardson. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. Here's Primo. Over Wall. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Clippers shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Here's Leonard, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. Leonard's got the lead up to six now for the Clippers. And uh, San Antonio shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Collins, a screen on Kennard. Richardson with it, guarded now by Morris. Richardson, good. Richardson's got his first bucket of the night. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thanks very much. Now, for 22 straight years, San Antonio made the playoffs. They haven't made the last three postseasons. And former Spur Robert Ori worries if they'll ever be relevant again, saying, I hate to say that. San Antonio is a small market. Guys just aren't going to go there. 
And that's a dire prediction for such a storied and successful franchise, Kevin. Wow, no kidding, David. All right, thank you. Now here's Leonard. Following the miss by Josh Kawhi Richardson. Leonard. You can see the work Kawhi has put into his ball handling. Gets separation almost any time he wants. Outside Cowan. Passes to Roby. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Pass to Sohan. From past the arc. It's John Wall with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by six. To the inside. Leonard. A shot's good on the assist by George. Leonard's got six in the quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Outside Cowan. Down low. Richardson no luck. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Good on. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. For San Antonio, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Pass to Collins. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. John Wall. That is his first foul of the game. When you think of that court offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. Now, here's Richardson. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Rare for him to get a wide-open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. And Wall with the slam. Excellent pass, PG-13. Keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Jones looking for an opening. Richardson the pass to Jones. Richardson with the screen on Wall. Jones in the post, covered by Wall. Nifty move. And there's the bucket as Jones finishes it off. Jones has got his second basket. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Leonard. He's got eight. Rebound by Sohan. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Jones, the best to Chang. Kicks to Richardson. Over Kanar. Richardson, no luck. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Leonard, no luck. Spurs trail by eight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Leonard against Jones. Chang with a screen on Leonard. Jones drives in. Chang with a clean look. Those three-pointers off the mark. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. The first one falls for the Clippers organization, GA. What do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The, the Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Batum comes in for Luke Kennard. Man subbed in for John Wall. 
and Kawhi Leonard with multiple finals MVPs putting him in elite company. GA, not many guys have done it ever. The only other current players, KD and LeBron. That should tell you just how special the claw is. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. The three from George. San Antonio with the rebound. Jang's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Richardson finds Jones. There's the pass to Chang. Now Vassell. Chang with the screen for Jones. Stolen by Zubax. Driving inside. Man passes to Batum. The offensive rebound. Spurs trail by 10. Here's Jones. Batum grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Here's Mann. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. This is to George. Los Angeles with another miss. Spurs shooting just 28%. They are offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. Outside, Jones. That one doesn't go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That is game three of this four-game trip. Now here's Leonard. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Leonard's gone five of ten from the floor. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Manu Ginobili, Hall of Fame class of 2022. He played his entire career in San Antonio. And in 2003, Manu's rookie season, we won a ring together. checked in. The Clippers also changing it up. Robert Covington's checked in for Zubox. Norman Powell comes in for George. And it's Jackson in for Leonard. Richardson right side. Trying to get something going. Here's Jang. The Clippers grab the miss. Here's Mann. A three-pointer no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in Red through the net, Jackson. and that helps. 
And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Richardson. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Reggie Jackson. I mean, a ferocious athlete, Josh Richardson has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. Richardson, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That's good from Richardson. From 2019 to 2022, Steve, Josh Richardson was traded four times over a 20-month span. Kevin, that tells you how in-demand guys like Josh are. Richardson is a 3 and D type, plays the game hard. Everyone wants multiple guys like him on their roster. And so he's able to get one of two. For decades, the Clippers were almost directionless. But they found their place in the NBA, becoming a franchise that competes in the West. Now here's Paul. He picked up 15 points in their last one against the Utah Jazz. Great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Richardson outside. And that one is good. And the West, you know, is very difficult. But Steve for the Clippers. How much of their success is tied to their identity? Kevin, a lot of it. They become a hard-nosed team, hanging their hat on defense, playing together, making opponents earn everything they get. Yes, that goes in. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Passes it to Bates Dion. Collins with it. Shoots over Covington. Shot by Collins, no good. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Here's Jackson. It's hauled in by Bates Diop. Bates Diop's got five rebounds tonight. Vassell kicks to Richardson. Back to Vassell. Powell with the steal. Here's Jackson. Finish off the break, Jackson. and it's nine points for Reggie Jackson. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Amir Coffey. Super assertive on the offensive end. Something Josh has worked on, and it's paid off. He at shot two free throws in the game, Antonio. made one and missed one. Josh Richardson at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. San Antonio making a switch here. Primo's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Morris is checked in. And Richardson drops them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Morris passes to Jackson. Now Powell. Covington setting the pick for Powell. Down to five on the shot clock. And Covington with the basket on the assist by Powell. And the Clippers lead by 19. Quick attack by Covington, not giving the defense a chance to get all over him. Pass to Primo for three. Richardson, that one no good. 
Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the Clippers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Uh, we did make shots. Thank you for that insightful analysis, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And welcome to halftime. With the all-star festivities around the corner, here are the favorites to take part in the dunk contest. And folks, you know Kenny was a dunk contest participant, which means he's the highest rated dunker at this very table we're sitting at. Stop it, Ernie, the people know the truth. He didn't even win. Yo, yo, yeah, listen, the numbers don't lie. Or the bank account. Look at it now, look at it. I pulled down some tens, brother. And, well, I never pulled down a rim, but I pulled down some tens. Let's switch gears, talk about Kawhi Leonard. He was in total control in that first half. Getting all he can eat offensively and the opposition and pulling the hair out trying to slow him down. And if he keeps it up in the second half, before long, oh, his hair's gonna look like ours. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. We've got Devin Vassell. He's out there with Jones. Gorgie Dang is out there with Richardson. And it's Roby in at the fourth. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Taking advantage of the defense, Devin got inside, and you see what happened. George with no one around. It's good from long range. George has got nine. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Roby the pass to Jones. Here's Roby. And the shot goes in. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And George gets it to go. I like how Paul George comes off the screen under control, right up into his shooting motion. Smooth. Pass to Roby. Now here's Vassell. He's covered closely. He dishes it to Jones. Wall with a block. An explosive athlete with length. Wall is a threat when he contests shots. A shot by Batum, no good. Spurs trail by 20. Richardson dishes to Jones. The pass to Roby. Now here's Vassell, defended by George. Passes it to Roby. Trying to get open is Jang. Roby can't hit. Clippers leading by 20. Here's Batum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know what makes Nicholas Batum indispensable? When they need him in the paint, he's there. When they need him on the perimeter, he's there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for two. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And with Batum, his versatility has earned him a lot of minutes over his career. 
Kevin, reason why, when you got a guy who can guard a wing and get you points in the paint, that'll always get you some floor time. And the second free throw, good. You know, Nicholas Batum is kind of a classic glue guy. He does a little of everything and is always ready to step up and fill any gaps on the floor. Now here's Jones. Lost contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defensive well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against length. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort and he brings the energy. Jones, shooting one. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Ball against Jones. Batuma screen on Jones. Got a piece of it. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It'll be a jump ball. Batum passes to Wall. Six to shoot. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Spurs trail by 18. To the middle. And down it goes. Gun threw off a wonderful assist. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Now here's Wall. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Zubac. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And the Clippers making a change here. And checked in. One shot. Zubats, no good on the free throw. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Outside, Jones. Pass to Vassell. Back to Jones. Teardrop shot. And the rejection by Zubats. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Outside, George. Zubats with the screen for George. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. And this is his second trip to the line of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from George. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin, <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. San Antonio making a switch here. Primo's checked in. The all-around game Paul George possesses is so special. His versatility is what makes him so valuable. Here's Primo, covered by Wall. Spurs working the ball around now. Vassell, the pass to Roby. 
Here's Primo. Off target with his three. Clippers leading by 20. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion, Second, thank you. A lottery pick. Devin Purcell has turned into a big-time talent, someone who will be a force in this league for years to come. And he can't get the first one. Greg, Devin Vassell came in as a 3 and D type player, but he's grown beyond that. Uh, he has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still not a great shot creator, but can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. Collins checked in for San Antonio. Doug McDermott comes in for Roby. No luck that time either. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Pass to Morris. Back to Jackson. Outside Leonard. Puts up a three. Rebounded by McDermott. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Primo. The pass to Collins. Can they get it? And finished off by McDermott. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Clippers leading by 18. Hey, yo, Jackson deciding where to go with it. And the rejection by Collins. It's out of bounds. The Clippers are able to retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Kata Bates Diops checked in for Vassell. The Clippers also changing it up. Robert Covington comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Powell in for Terrence Mann. With the fadeaway. No good off the back of the rim. Spurs trail by 18. Here's Primo. Over to the wing. The pass to Sohan. Shot clock at six. Nick Dermott for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Clippers will come the other way. Jackson passes to Kennard. Back to Jackson. And it's Primo with the rebound. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Inside, here's Collins. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Morris has got his sixth rebound on the night. Jackson kicks to Powell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second person. A part of this team's toughness comes from Norman Powell. Unafraid to stick his nose in there. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Clippers. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. You know, every team is looking for guys like Norman Powell, an explosive athlete who is relentless, and he can shoot the ball. That one is no good. 
Steve, you played all four years at Michigan State. When you think about the fun you had there, what was more enjoyable, playing college basketball or in the pros? Kevin, I have to be honest, both was fantastic. When in college those four years was something I'll never forget. But then obviously, ultimately, you want to make it to the NBA, and I got a chance to do that. So both were fantastic in my eyes. And here is Los Angeles now, following the three-pointer by San Antonio. Here's Jackson. Rebound San Antonio. Collins has got four rebounds in this game. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Primo. Clippers foul. With a break in the action, Randy let's see which Jackson. teams have come away second with the most deals in the NBA this Third season. The Clippers in second. You, you can't get and careless the with the basketball first. against this group. I mean, Josh they'll pick Primo. your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. First one falls for Josh Richardson's checked in for San Antonio. Amir Coffey's checked in for Los Angeles. And good on the second, so he makes them both. So it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Passes it to Pop. Tires the three. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Pass to Bates Diaz. Knocked away. Covington with the steal. Outside Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left in the third quarter of the game. Morris with the screen for Jackson. Pass to Coffey. Lock it two. Over Collins. And Coffey gets it to go. I mean, no one really near him, but still, he's able to knock down the off-balance shot. Here's Primo. Six points for him. It's Richardson on the wing for three. Traps in the tray. Richardson's got ten points. Good to see Richardson sink that one from long range. And defensively, I mean, there's only so much you can do against these three-point shots. Now here's Paul. He's got five. From outside the arc, Collins grabs the miss. Spurs trail by 13. Here's Primo. From the arc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Outside Jackson. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Here's Morris. Collins with some nice D. San Antonio's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Primo, the pass to Collins. The dish to McDermott. Tipped away. Stolen by Jackson. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Bates Diop. Bates Diop's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's McDermott. And Chen shot, and it's good on the way. Nick Dermott's got his second basket of the night. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Clippers ahead, up by 11. And we'll get going after this from AT&T Center. Time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this way? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. 
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Out on the wings for him, Powell and Jordan. Marcus Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Wall in at the point guard position. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Wall with the bounce pass. Leonard, that's for two. And he stays with it. On any given night, Kawhi can just take control of the offense. An elite score from all three levels. Richardson kicks to Jan. Dishes to Jones. The shot misses. Wall with some nice defense. Clippers leading by 11. He feeds it to Leonard. Roby with the rebound. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. On the wing, Jones. Looking to get back on track here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the First line. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Spurs, Trey Jones. Two shots. No good on the free throw. San Antonio making a switch here. Vassell's checked in. And then for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Marcus Morris. And it's Batum in for Norman Powell. He hits the second from the line. Clippers leading by 10. And there's the pass to Zubats. Back to Wall. Outside, George. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. Roby with the rebound. Roby's got four rebounds now tonight. Ball against Jones to the right side. Passes to Vassell. Stolen by George. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Over to the wing. George with the screen on Jones. Wall attacking. Banked in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 12. You gotta clog up the lanes because Wall runs all over you when you don't. Back to Jones. It's stolen by Wall. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And here's George for three. And Zubats picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for your Spurs. Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Vassell, the pass to Chang. Here's Rope. And here is Vassell. To the paint, here's Wall. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. George has got his fourth assist in this one. Spurs trail by 14. And Zubats picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Clippers on defense. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Vassell, the pass to Jones. Just five on the clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Chang. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At 
the line for San Antonio, Gorgie J. At the line for two. That free throw, good from Jang. So he hits both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Right side, George. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Second person. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movers. Well, over the last couple seasons, Smitty, Paul George has shown growth as a playmaker. He has, Kevin. He's gotten much better at reading the defense and looking for the best shot available, whether it comes from him or a teammate. It shows in his assist numbers. The throw good, Paul George. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Roby. Here's Jones. Whoa, with a block. Outside Leonard. Beyond the arc. San Antonio with the rebound. Roby's got rebound number five here tonight. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. Spurs trail by 13. Outside, Jones. to show him. Lock at six. Jang against Zubak. Jang, no luck. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Right side, Batum. Leonard. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Creative at finding ways to draw fouls. Leonard takes pleasure in getting them to overcompensate. Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Seems like every year Kawhi Leonard averages around six or seven free throws a game. About the same as KD and LeBron. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They trail by 14. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. It's game one of a three-game road trip. They tee that time from Leonard. And boy, you can see his struggles from the field, and I think it's really starting to get to him. And here's George for three. Hits it from three-point range. George has got 13 points in the second half. Oh, great ball movement there. San Antonio calls timeout. It's time for
and the Spurs with possession. 17 point game. Jones the pass to Chang. At the elbow, McDermott. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Here's Leonard. Zubac trying to break loose. And Leonard gets it to go. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. And that'll be his third foul so far. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Zach Collins checked in for Jack. Clippers on defense. Here's Rope. To the inside. He kicks it to Collins. And the rejection by Zubats. And that one goes out of bounds. Spurs Touch by Zubats. Four on the shot clock. The pass to Roby. Jones, that's for two. The wheels have completely come off for him here in the second half. Leonard attacking. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Doug McDermott. The aggressive approach. Leonard pushing the action rewarded with the foul call. Kawhi Leonard, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. free throws good from Kawhi Leonard Spurs trail by 19 they could use a big shot here to get this offense going too many empty possessions right now they need a basket outside Jones here's Vassell San Antonio again missing and here's Los Angeles they're on a 17 to 7 run Zubats with the screen for Leonard down low. And that one is good from Zubats. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge lead with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And so it's San Antonio with it after the Clippers pick up two. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. San Antonio making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. Clippers leading by 21. All with it. Kicks it to Leonard. Zubats a screen on Richardson. They get it back. And the dunk by Zubats. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. And the basket by Jones. Yes. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. And it's Leonard missing. And Collins has got the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. We've got 148 left here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Jones, defended by George. 
Shot clock at two. Roby can't hit. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Clippers. Great, generous ball movement tonight, a thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable oh, team cool. effort. They got everyone involved. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe. They'd split their previous two games with. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for George. You know what stood out to me was the anticipation defensively. He sensed what the offense wanted to run, then found ways to disrupt that and cause turnovers. Zubats a screen on Richardson. Leonard, the pass to Zubats. Spurs foul. Zach Collins. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Clippers, Ibiza Zubats. At the line for two. Shooting two. A free throw drops for Zubats. So both teams making some changes here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Primo, covered by Wall. Shot by Collins, no good. Now Wall. Pass to Covington. Kennard against Richardson. Pass to Mann. Six to shoot. Screen by Zubats. Spurs foul. Zach Collins. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for LA. Terrence Mann. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Here's Primo. So the Clippers winning this one easily. That's this one energy. was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were Thank waiting for something for to get excited time. about, Greg, but they never got we it. They sure, sure did. I mean, they, they just rolled we'll to this win. They made time. it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you very much, Kawhi. How do you evaluate your team's progress at this point in the season? We got to come out and just have the same mindset and energy every night. You know, that's the thing that we're working on, trying to be consistent at and just knowing the game plan. And, you know, once we get that down and we start making our shots, it's going to be very hard to beat us. And you're winning games in the meantime, man. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Paul George.